Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make passive income with designing and creating your own low content books on Amazon KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. All you have to do is make this book, these few, these different books one time. You heard me one time and you can collect money on these books for years to come passively. So to get started, I'm going to be doing some type of budgeting planner or money tracker journal just for um, example for this video. What I like to do, all the books that I create, I like to have unique art. So I go to Fiverr and I find an artist and I pretty much give them all the details of the different types of art designs that I'm looking for and then I have them created for very low cost. Um, it's up to you if you want to spend money to do this, um, but for me, I like to have uh, pretty much uncopywritten, uh, unique art. So, with this being said, let's jump on in. So, I have this girl right here with her money going into the piggy bank. And for this design, I'm going to, um, first, for the book, we have to create the cover. So we have the cover art and now we're going to use the cover. So before we get into the dimensions of the book, how do we figure that out? Um, if you can think about a standard college ruled notebook, that's going to be about seven and a half by nine inches. Okay. So you can, you can Google KDP calcul calculate cover size. Now, Kindle, they offer so many different sizes for your book, so you don't have to use this particular size, but this is the one I'm choosing for right now. And I'm just gonna put in these different parameters, um, right to left. So we wanna measure in inches. The trim, so like I said, is nine and a half by 9.25. It's the size of the book that I want to create. We're gonna put 100 pages. The amount of pages is up to you. So right here where you see a uh, full cover, this these are the dimensions for the cover that we're gonna put into Canva. So I'm gonna go into my Canva, put the dimensions here, and then put inches, and then you wanna hit create new design. So I went ahead and uploaded the photo into Canva. And so um, you already got the dimensions for the cover. And then um, this is the photo that I'm going to going to be adding. And one thing I love about Canva is the background. So say for instance, you see you have a white background, Canva will automatically populate this same color um, of the image of the photo that is so it can blend in. So you won't see um, the difference between the two colors. Um, so I really do like that. And then also, um, I need some ideas for the the title. So um, let's go over to BookBoat. This is the powerful tool that I use for research and interior creation for the book. So I use Canva to create the exterior of the book, the aesthetic of the book, and then I use BookBoat for their um, interior of the book because it's super quick and easy, like absolutely quick. So we're gonna go to um, just like the main page of Book Boat. Um, if you scroll down, you have KDP Spy and this tool helps you to spy on your competition. So um, I wanna look at some money tracker notebooks. So I'll go over here and um, click on my KDP Spy. I hit the start button. And then it's going to generate these different books in this um, keyword that I, that I typed in. Let's see. Hold on, because, let's see, money tracker. Let's see, uh, money budget. Let's do money budget notebook. Enter, let's see, um, we can go to our KDP Spy, hit start. So as you can see, um, it's gonna start populating the different books uh, for, that key, for that keyword that I just searched into Amazon. 
So when you get about 50 in your results, like a good sample size, you can hit the stop button. And then from there, like it'll show you the ASIN number. You can see here, this looks like a KDP book, month, monthly planner, budget planner. Um, the price um, and then average sales. So for me, I like to see what book is doing the best as far as sales. And then I kind of scroll and see what is like the median. And a lot of these books are not KDP books. Like this is clearly not a KDP book. But I also use this to kind of help me with my title. Monthly budget planner, monthly financial planner. This is something along the lines of what I'm trying to create. Um, so, you know, I kind of got an idea of how I want to, uh, what I want to call my, my, my book. I want to call it the Savvy Budget Planner. So how about I go back to Canva and find me some text that I want to use. Let's try this one. How about the Savvy budget planner okay and obviously I want to make it smaller so it can fit in my book okay so as you can see on the right side this is going to be the front of the book on this side and then on the left side we're going to have the back of the book so you want to make sure it's uh, within scale of the front uh, side versus the back. So one thing I do like about Canva, if you kind of like position everything, it will, you see this little uh, dotted line, it kind of tells you this is the middle half of this side of the book. Um, I do want to make it a little bit smaller so it won't cover her face. And we can move this down just a little bit. Okay, and um, so even with her, I can position her photo so it can just kind of be right in the middle. So that's perfect. And then for the back, let's go to elements. Maybe we can use something for um, money. So we'll use this as something quick and simple for like the back design. Let's try to get this centered. Like right here. Okay, and so how do we know if the front is not going to bleed over into the back. Um, one of my uploads I have, basically um, you can also get this off of KP, KDP. This is a, um, just like a template. It shows you where the front versus where the back of your book should be, should land. So if I want to go ahead and make this a little bit more transparent, you can see that we are within the margins of each side of the book. So perfect, now I can delete this. And this is my book. So I'm going to download this. Actually, I'm less named. Oh, it's already named the Savvy Budget Planner. Perfect. Let's hit the download button. Um, we have to make sure it's PDF print. And that's it. So look how quick I was able to make my cover um, for the book. Now, for my favorite part. Is the interior of the book using book bolts this is absolutely powerful and let me show you why go to research click create click um, book bolt designer now however you can you um, create covers in book bolt but I prefer to use camera for the covers in book bolt for the mess to for the um, ultimate up awesome interiors so um, I clicked on interior pro generator and as you can see you can literally create your book and this is this is inside the book so when you first open the book for me I like to have at least one blank page okay so I'm gonna let that be a blank page and then the first page I like it to be a um, page where it's asking um, or it's telling you who this book belongs to. So I actually made this page in Canva as well. It's just a simple, this book belongs to insert and then that the person who the owner of the book, they can write their name in the front. So I like to insert that to be my second page. And then from there, um, 
this is the most powerful part. So for me, I want to create something unique where this book has a lot of different categories to offer. So you have the bills tracker. You have... You have... Um, Let's see, online shopping tracker, you have all these things that's related to um, financial planning. Um, you just have to really scroll through here and figure out what you want to use. So just for example, maybe I want to um, just put the first 10 pages. I want the first 10 pages to be bills tracker. So I click on that and then it'll fill out those first 10 pages. Okay, and then say for example, I want, oh, I got to put the page number. The next 10 pages, I want that to be um, the, the crazy part about it is just having to really um, comb through and figure out which one. Okay, so here's one, savings tracker. So the next 10 pages, which is a savings tracker. And then I think the next one that I saw was like a depth a debt tracker like if you want to work on paying off some credit cards I know I saw that in here somewhere what is it where is it though this one right here so and so on and so on so basically that's you get the gist right you're literally almost done with the book can you believe that like I created the cover and just a few minutes and as well as the interior okay so just for the sake of time I'm going to um, do bleed um, so that this is cut so everything each page is going to cover the entire page without margin so it's going to be full page right um, and then we have to go back and put in the seven and a half by 9.25 and then we hit download so guys, when I tell you, you can just pump out books. Like what I like to do, I like to go to Fiverr. Like first I like to um, go through BookBolt and see all the different types of templates that they have. Then I take all those different categories and then I go to Fiverr and I get my artists to create um, art around the theme of those books. Then I put the book together quickly in um, Canva and use BookBolt for my interiors and then um, boom <laughs> I have my book so it's like a step a three-step process for me but it's relatively quick quick the only thing I'm really waiting on is the art the artwork once I have the unique artwork um, I do a little bit of research with book bolts and then I piece together my cover and my interior I immediately um, put it onto Amazon KDP so just a little um, bit of how this looks. Once it's downloaded, you have this book belongs to, you have the bills tracker, and you know, of course, once you get it um, in this condition, like once it's all put together, you can see it a lot better because um, when it's on those uh, in book, well, it looks, a it looks really small, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks really clean and nice and neat um, once it's all put together. Savings tracker. And you go down a little bit more so um yeah and then you got the debt tracker so yeah um so if you're interested um book Bolt does have a 20 percent off if you use all capital letters tiara 20 you can save 20 percent off of your book Bolt subscription so i highly recommend you use this powerful tool because honestly I'm not able to uh, efficiently create interiors for my books and then to be able to choose which interiors without book bolts. I can't do it without book bolts. So um, I highly recommend that you, if you're interested in this particular um, passive income business, that you uh, get definitely need to uh, get the book bolt subscription. So yes, there you go. We have our cover beautiful cover look at that it's so cute and then we have our interior for the book so of course I'm gonna actually upload this to my KDP um, store because I really like it it's so cute and then um, 
I'm going to go back into the interior and add more um, elements into the interior. So thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning into this video. Hope this was very helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments as well as um, I will be doing another video showing you how I upload this book into Amazon. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.